Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you the Binance Futures platform where you can leverage trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. If you don't have a Binance account already, you can go to the video description and use my sign up link. And if you use that link, you will get to this page. And as you can see, this referral ID will be added and you will get a 10% commission discount for your first month on all trading fees. It's, the, it's very nice. It's the highest bonus you can get on Binance Futures. And if you click on the link, you can enter your details right here and create an account. If you already have a Binance account, you can still get this bonus if you just log into your Binance account and then go up here to derivatives and then just choose one of these futures options, USDM futures or Coinem futures, it doesn't matter. And if you click on one of these, you can, you can open your Binance futures account and on the right side of it, you can enter a referral ID. And if you enter this referral ID that I'm displaying right now here, if you enter this code right here, then you can still get the 10% discount. Once you've opened your Binance Futures account, there will be a small quiz with a few questions for you to answer just to make sure that you know a little bit about the trading platform. I've already done that. So we can now go to our Binance Futures account if we just go to derivatives and then you can already see we have these two options, USDM Futures and CoinM Futures. The only difference between them is with what you deposit money to your Binance Futures account. So if you choose USDM Futures, you, you, as you can see, your contract will be settled in USDT or Binance USD. So if you deposit with US dollar Tether or Binance USD, you will choose this option. That's also what I'm doing. And if you want to deposit a certain cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency and then trade that currency, you can also choose CoinM Futures. It doesn't really matter. It's just, just depending on what you want to deposit. You can, of course, if you deposit here US dollar Tether or Binance USD, you can trade any cryptocurrency. It doesn't matter. It's just with what you want to settle your contracts. All right. So in my case, I will use USDM futures. So I'm going to click on that. And then as you can see, this trading page will open right here. Okay. That light mode is kind of annoying. I'm just going to go to the dark mode right here. If I go up here and then click on here. So we are in the dark mode. That's much better on my eyes. All right. As you can see, that's the Binance Futures platform. It might look a little bit complicated at the first time, but it's actually pretty simple. We'll just go over the most important features uh, so you're ready to go. All right, so let's start in the middle right here. That's the price chart. As you can see, you can easily adjust it. Just like go to the four hourly chart, for example, or the daily chart, and you can uh, watch through the chart just as you want. It's really easy to use. Um, let's go to the one hour chart back and let's go to the features up here. These are really important for you to choose which trading pair you want to trade. So in this case, we have Bitcoin USDT selected. You can see a little bit of information right here. For example, the funding rate for your open positions. And these are just some future, uh, some information about the trading pair we have selected. So if I go up here, I can choose my trading pair. So in this case, I have BTC USDT selected. But as you can see, we are at USDM futures. You can choose any of these um, trading pairs that you want to use. So you can see like TRX, USDT, BTC, one inch, Algorand. There are so many cryptocurrencies you can leverage trade right here. It's really, really nice. Um, yeah, you can choose whichever currency you want. You can of course also type it up here. Let's say for example, you want to trade Doge, just type it in, whoops, Doge. And then you can trade Doge if you want. And yeah, you can do that with any other cryptocurrency. Let's go for Ethereum, Ethereum USDT. And just if we just select it, we can trade Ethereum. All right, let's go back to Bitcoin, BTC, USDT, and select it right here. And now we can trade Bitcoin. All right, let's continue with the interface down here. That's really important for our open position. So if we have positions open, which we will do in just in just a bit, then we can see them displayed down here. Um, right here on the right side, next to the chart is the order books, so all the selling orders up here and all the buying orders down here. Right here, we can see all the recent trades that have happened. And down here, we can see all the information about our assets. So in this case, you can see I have a balance of 148 US dollar tether right here. And this is just the balance on my um, Binance futures account. So you have to distinguish between your balance on your spot account on Binance and your futures account balance. These are completely different. They are not like together. So you can transfer them like funds from your spot account to your futures account and you can transfer from your futures account to your spot account. And how you can do that, it's really easy. You can just click on transfer right here. And as you can see, now we can, for example, transfer funds from our spot wallet to our USDM futures. And you can choose the coin right here. Um, of course, you can also 
change it right here um, so you can transfer from your USDM futures to your spot wallet and then you can choose the amount right here and then if you click on confirm your money will be transferred from your futures to your spot wallet or the other way as you want. So if you have money deposited to your Binance account you will just choose it right here from your spot wallet to your USDM futures. Okay, right now I don't have really money on it. And then you can just confirm and then your money will be transferred to your futures account. All right, so right now I have this small balance, but I'm just gonna use it to show you a little bit of how the platform works. If we go up here, this is where we can control all of our trades. So up here, this option right here is we can choose between cross and isolated. So I would always, always, um, almost always recommend you to use isolated. The only difference is basically if you use cross, this will mean that your margin, so how long you can open your positions until you will, for example, be liquidated, will be cal calculated throughout all your orders that you have opened. For example, if you have positions opened in Bitcoin and in Litecoin and in Ethereum and maybe some other cryptocurrencies and some cash aside too, your margin will always become uh, um, calculated throughout all the different orders that you have opened. If you choose isolated, it will be different because then every position that you have in Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum at the same time, if you will do that, if you don't do that, it doesn't really matter anyways, but let's say you have different positions open in different currencies, then the margin so will be calculated for all the different um, positions individually. So if one position hits the liquidation price, it will be liquidated no matter how the other um, positions are performing and in cross one would be liquidated but the others are still in profit so your total margin is still fine you won't be liquidated so that's the only difference i'm always using isolate because first of all i'm not trading that many different currencies at the same time and also it's just um, easier to have control over the positions all right so i'd recommend you in 90 percent of the cases to use isolated if we click ok and then right here right next to it we can choose our leverage so if you click on that as you can see, we can use a lever leverage between 1x and 125x in this case for Bitcoin. You can just use the slider right here or type it in manually right here. Um, of course, I would never recommend you to use these higher leverages, especially if you open a position, because if you open a position with like, a, I don't know, 75x leverage, it will be liquidated very, very fast. So that's not a good, good idea. So I would of course recommend you to start with not higher than 10x leverage if you open a position. Um, let's go for 10x and click on confirm and we have that adjusted right here and now these are the two main um, things you have to consider before you open your position and now we can choose what type of position we want to open so we can use a limit order market order and a stop limit um, let's just go over these two these are the most important ones if you use the limit order you can choose a certain price where you want your order to be uh, triggered and opened and if you use market you, this will not be here and you can just use the size of the position let's choose market because we want to enter the market immediately we can of course change right here between the size in bitcoin for example one bitcoin or we can choose um us dollar tether and say how much we want to use like in us dollar tether for example a 500 um, us dollar tether position um, let's go over how you can calculate your position size and how you can use it. So the easiest way would be to just use this um, slide controller right here. So you can choose, for example, 50% of your funds you want to use. In this case, this will cost you 74 US dollars in my case, because I have 148 dollars US dollar tethers um, deposited right here. So half of it would be 74 um, US dollar tether. And my position will be, of course, 10 times this. So my position size will be 740 US dollar tether, around about that. Um, you can, of course, also type it in right here. So the maximum for me would be with a 10x leverage, of course, 1480. So um, I can go up here to 100%. And as you can see, this will be my position size and my cost will be exactly my balance. Um, you can, of course, also type it in right here in US dollar tether if you want, for example, a 1000 whoops, a 1000 US dollar position size, this will cost me around 100 US dollar tethers because I am using a 10x leverage. So that's how all of this is calculated. Your cost times your leverage will be your position size. In this case, $1,000. All right, so let's just go for a small uh, position size. Let's go with 5%. It will cost me $7 for this position of my available balance. And I will, um, my position size will be $75 in this case, whatever. And we can click on buy, for example, I'm going to open a long position, you could have, I haven't done that yet, but we can also do that later on, 
um, add a trade profit and a stop loss. You can just type in the price right here where you want your um, take profit and your stop loss to be at. But I didn't do that yet because I want to show you how you can do that in your position as we can see right here. So right here, that's our position. You can see all the important information. We can see what type of position it is, what leverage we have, how big the position is, in this case, 66 uh, US dollars, and our entry price where we entered our position, um, where our liquidation price will be. So if we don't put a uh, stop loss, where our position will be closed and um, our margin ratio, so how much of our balance uh, we are using in margin in this trade, how much the margin is in like absolute numbers, and right here, our profit or loss. And right here, we can um, control our position. So we can, for example, close our position with a market order. So if we click on that, we can immediately close our position. As you can see, it is filled and we closed our position. Um, well, let's open a position again, because I want to show you also some other things. If we Let's open another long position and we have opened it right here. We can, of course, also here choose, for example, how much percent we want to close. Let's say you only want to post, uh, close 50% of it. Oops, let's select 50% and click on market. You will see that our size will be decreased to the half of it. Let's click on mark. And as you can see, now we are only 33 US dollars. So that's how you can control it. You can always choose that how much you want. And if you use this, as you can see right here, stop loss and take profit. If we click on this right here, we can choose a take profit and a stop loss. So let's say right now we are, our entry price is at 33, 219 US dollars. Let's say we want to make a take profit at 35,000. And as you can see, this will leave us with, okay, <laughs> a profit with this position size of $1.78 US dollars. And let's set our stop loss to 33 thousand dollars and this will leave us with a loss of 22 cents and if we click on confirm this is very nice because you can immediately see how much your profit will be and how much your loss will be if one of these two orders will be triggered and if we click on confirm as you can see we've set our stop loss and our take profit and that's already it all right so let's close this position again if i just click on close all positions and confirm our order will be closed and yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to use the link from the video description if you ha don't have a Binance account already. And if you do already, don't forget to use the referral ID to get the 10% discount. Hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.